Yo, what is going on guys? It's Crypto TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. And today we're going to be talking about Audi pulling out of in real life GT3 competition from next year, which is going to have a major effect on ACC, I believe, as other teams that have pulled out of um, the SRO GT Challenge series in real life, they tend to just be faded out of the game in terms of BOP and stuff like that. So it might have a major effect and I feel like the differences with with the Audi is such a such a mainstay. Um, Audi's always been one of the you know one of the more used cars, one of the faster cars, and now um, going into the future, future is looking kind of bleak. We've already seen this with the Lexus. You know, Lexus pulled out, and they're pretty much no more in terms of BOP on the game. The Bentley pulled out of um, SRO GT3. They're no more really a mainstay on the game. The cars just sort of an extra that no one uses and you know i would hate to see the same thing happen to audi because it definitely is one of the cars at the moment is at the forefront of the game what does this mean in the future well unfortunately it's probably gonna go the same way now are people still gonna be playing acc in 2024 probably um because i've played the other games i've played Water Ballista, I've played the Ren Sport Beta and stuff like that. And although I feel like all these games are going to be good in their own right, I don't believe any of them are really going to itch that scratch that ACC does. If you're looking for the whole authentic experience in terms of GT3 racing, none of those games are quite going to, you know, reach the level for GT3s that ACC has. Now, overall, some of them maybe you might find them more fun. There's more options to play with but in terms of the actual authenticness of the gt3 series that acc has produced i don't feel like you can get that anywhere else and the more these cars pull out and back out it's just leaving less cars to choose from i guess um and of course that's just not what we need at the moment especially when the bop tends to sort of favor one or two cars at a time and you don't really get to use you know four or five six different cars so that's the issue i believe audi are pulling out because they're going to focus all their efforts on f1 which is you know kind of crazy like i love f1 as well but when you think about all the, the driver programs all their contracted drivers gone you know um it's, it's insane it's actually insane so basically you're still going to get teams but they're going to be like privateer teams they're not going to be, you know, Audi backed, you know, so it's, it's going to be a little bit different. We saw how that sort of, you, you can see the difference between a backed team that's backed by the actual manufacturer and a team that's a privateer. And privateer teams tend not to really do that well. So I don't know, man, it's a tough one, guys, man. It's definitely a tough one. I never, ever saw this coming. I never saw Audi backing out of GT3 because they've been so successful over the years as well. Um, Pretty, pretty damning thing to happen for, for the GT Challenge, man, because Audi's always one of the cars at the front battling. So, you know, from, from next season, wow, it's going to be um, gonna be no more. It's just going to be a bunch of privateer teams and they'll probably be somewhere around the back, I should expect. Um, I did watch, I watched a couple of GT Challenge races from Australia and... Uh, they were they were still using no was it no it was actually from america i think it was the nashville race i, I believe they were still using the, the the audi lms the old school audi i believe actually won the race so you know definitely still a popular manufacturer within you know sro gt challenge across the across the whole spectrum but as i said it's definitely a major blow not just to the game but also in real life as well it's feeling like we're just gonna just carry on getting mercedes domination realistically because at the moment what else has really been challenging the mercedes man um if, if there's not going to be audi anymore but as i said in terms of acc itself it's not definitely not a good look man we already have a shortage of tracks realistically um unless they're going to start bringing out more tracks we have a, a shortage of competitive cars i would say at the top in terms of bop which is also a problem and that's not going to get any better with major manufacturers pulling out um definitely takes away 
some of the um how can i say it takes away some of the prestige of of the cars when one of the major front runners is now leaving so let's see how it goes man let's see how it goes but it's happening again guys and do you know what? when when bentley pulled out i didn't think it would be such a big deal for the game because bentley pulled out what was it like a season or season or two ago but if we look at where bentley in acc have gone since they've pulled out the car's just been nowhere like it's like they don't even care about the bop for the bentley anymore um same pretty much with the lexus i don't know if lexus did pull out but i don't see lexus is racing much at all anymore i'm pretty sure lexus pulled out so if you look at those cars bop compared to where they used to be in terms of how competitive they were they're absolutely nowhere you know so um yeah it's just it's sad times man. it's sad times hopefully hopefully we can um we can you know keep up in the audi if they do give it somewhat of a decent bop but i fear the more updates we have you're slowly going to start seeing the audi getting phased out man and you know, we've, as i said we've seen it before it's already happened before so um hopefully not but that was just a quick video guys if you guys didn't know but um cryptic tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace